What is going on, everybody? It is Fred from the Red Cherry. God, man, look at yourself. Dude, I know it's summer, but like, you could probably take care of yourself a little better. It looks like I don't care about myself. Ah, much better. How's it going? I had to get freshened up a little bit. I have some things to show you. These are pickups the last week and a half. Sorry I haven't been uh, making many videos, but here is what Aaron D and I got in the last couple weeks. Thing. This, this thing. They're pretty, they're pretty cute. Ba-bomb. They're, they're pretty cute. Cheap teeth. Cheap teeth. Cheap teeth. I don't know. We didn't need those, but they're, they're kind of cute. We got this uh, carcass CD that I bought off my buddy Steve, Hepatitis Steve. Picked it up at a tour a while back and uh, he was looking to move it. Uh, this is a deluxe edition of Surgical Steel on Surgical Remission EP, EP but uh, it's signed by the band. So I'm really excited to have that because I love Carcass and just a really cool piece to have. Oh, Billy, 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 Billy Holiday. Uh, I found a Billy Holiday uh, stack on sale for a dollar each. And so, you know, she didn't have a, a huge uh, recorded catalog, but, uh, you know, they got a bunch of these cool compilations and for a buck. What the heck, Golden Hits, uh, it's got it's got the ones you need, Strange Fruit, uh, and Lover Come Back, but there's a lot of other great jams on here. Billy's voice, unbelievable. Her life, uh, equally amazing and tragic, so I'm gonna pick these up. A couple of Pearl jams here. I got the single for Dissident, which we never had. And also, I never had uh, Live on Two Legs on CD, so we grabbed this real quick. I think this was $4.99. So when you see a Pearl Jam CD, you don't have for $4.99, you gotta grab that. A bit of the metal. Here we are bleeding through. Uh, this is a 2018 record. Song Life on here is incredible. Uh, ends the album, a great um, uh, album ender. And also Embalmed. Never really heard much about this band. It's on Corpse Gristle Records. And once again, I found it for four bucks. And it just looks, you know, pretty wicked and brutal. So I'm gonna check it out. This is a Weezer sampler, six hitch, Buddy Holly, Say and So, Hashpipe, Island of the Sun, Beverly Hills. Perfect. I have all these records, but when you see a six song sampler for only a couple bucks, you snag it, it is bright. It's an RCA uh, Red Seal. This is mostly mostly classical and operatic singers. The vocalist, this is called, a three CD set uh, for a dollar. So I'm interested to hear some of these. I got a Cherry Monroe CD for a dollar. Only the people from Youngstown will probably remember this disc. It was around quite a bit back in the day. Uh, I don't know about this Down the Sun. It's on Roadrunner, but this is from an era when Roadrunner was hit or miss. What year was this? Yeah, this is from 2002. Roadrunner's hit or miss. So I'm not sure if Down the Sun's gonna be good, but worth a dollar for checking it out. Also Dogma, Feeding the Future, a promo copy. Um, this is from 1997. I listened to a couple tracks and it intrigued me, so I picked it up. This Dog's Eye View CD, there was one song that I remember, like everything everything falls apart. Everything falls apart. It was everywhere for like three weeks uh, on the radio and then they kind of disappeared. Happy bargain day to you. Uh, this movie came out when I was in music student in college. I thought that I was going to be Mr. Holland someday, but I teach English instead, so I won't ever be con conducting my gigantic opus, but a cool movie with some really cool songs, an awesome soundtrack, actually. Uh, Jackson Brown, Julian Lennon, Stevie Wonder. Awesome. This regurgitator CD, I bought it for just the opening track alone. I can't repeat it. Uh, I'm not going to repeat it, but the, just the opening track on this regurgitator a uh, two playing CD was worth a dollar by itself. Man Alive, Open Surgery, Migraine on Miramar Records, uh, Little Luxury. It's a movie soundtrack by Carly Simon. How can you not get that for a bargain price? Dispatched, Terrorizer. Uh, this looks like it has kind of like a low production quality, but I'm interested to check it out. Chaos Master Records. I'm gonna check this out and see if it's any good. Once again, Crash Music, I was a rep for Crash Music for a couple years, and this is Ashes of Your Enemy. This could be good, this could be terrible. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna scope it out. I keep buying Pop Will Eat Itself records because Pop Will Eat Itself records are all like two bucks now, and they're interesting enough to put on. I, I think I have their, pretty much all, almost their entire discography now. And when you can get Marvin Gaye and Wilson Pickett CDs for a dollar, this is gonna sound incredible. Uh, you know, a couple live things going on here. I know that this Wilson Pickett collection will be awesome. It's on the R&B Prime Cuts Legends label, so it's gonna be some Prime Cuts for sure. Love me the smooth voice of Wilson Pickett. Picked up a few cassettes also for a pretty good price. Got Depeche Mode, the singles. I didn't have this on cassette, so kind of happy to find that. Uh, to find that. 
We also have REM's Out of Time, which we did not own cassette yet. I did not know that. I also didn't own Introduce Yourself by Faith No More. My favorite band, I didn't have this. And then we found this uh, copy of Alice in Chains' Nothing Safe on cassette as well. Uh, I think this was kind of expensive, maybe like 12 bucks or something for, for this. But, um, you know, you don't see a lot of Alice in Chains cassettes, uh, particularly this uh, compilation uh, laying around. So we grabbed that. Our foray into older video games, returning back to the old school stuff. Took another Game Gear turn. This is mostly my wife's fault. She's really loving these Game Gear games right now. Uh, first, we have uh, Taz, Tasmania on Game Gear. You gotta get Tasmania. Also, another Taz and the Escape from Mars. The Lucky Dime Caper, Donald Duck. You, you, you can tell these are kind of my wife's pick so far. Sonic Hedgehog 2, I'm into that. And Jungle Book. I don't know if this is a bare necessity, though. <laughs> get it? Bare necessity, because Jungle Book. She wanted to get the Angry Birds <laughs> Star Wars for PS Vita, so we did. It was pretty cheap. And also, I got, I've got i been looking for the Star Wars Lethal Alliance. I think this was 15 bucks. This game's not easy to find, um, but I'm glad to snag it real quick on the PSP. Uh, I want to play it on, on a plane trip or something, because I think that's what you're supposed to do with a PSP, is play it on, play it on a plane. Last but not least, we've got some vinyl on the way. We have this Saints and Sinners Walking Dead soundtrack. I didn't mean to get this. I wanted to get the Almost Famous sound. The sound, uh... The sound of vinyl was holding a like a pretty much a zero dollar sale. You should have pay shipping and they'd send you a record for like eight bucks. And I wanted the Almost Famous soundtrack and I put this in my car thinking I'd get both and it just sent me this only. So I didn't get the Almost Famous soundtrack and it was sold out before I realized what had happened. But I did get the Saints and Sinners soundtrack and this is cool to have, it's just, it's not the Almost Famous soundtrack. Keep picking up uh, Elton John compilations we find in Elton John's, your songs. We have all these songs on record already, but you know, and now in this compilation, we didn't have this, and it was only a few bucks. My dad, who's an awesome dad, he really is, uh, he was listening to this compilation one day when I came over to his house. He was listening to One in a Million You. Um, so <laughs> I was like, man, this, this compilation is pretty cool. And he's like, you gotta take it. I didn't really need it, but he gave it to me, so you take it with you. Um, so I got this one free, nice. My wife spotted these two original pressings of early Madonna stuff. We've got True Blue here. We've also got her uh, self-titled. So, you know, there's a few. Lucky Star, Borderline, On Here Holiday, uh, Papa Don't Preach, uh, Open Your Heart. Those are all like just pop jams. And for less than 10 bucks each record, original pressings, why not? And then I was so excited because they finally re released uh, Decapitated on a new variant. Uh, Earache had released, uh, I think it was limited to 750 or something, a copy of Nihility, which is my favorite Decapitated record. It has a song on it called Spheres of Madness, which is incredible. And I was like, ooh, I'm gonna buy that. And so I did, and the next day my wife's like, hey, I ordered you that Decapitated Nihility. So we have two of those, but I guess I'll just listen to both at the same time and then make it twice as loud. I don't know. So that's it. That's what we picked up in the last couple weeks. I hope you enjoyed looking through our new finds. I hope you are digging and finding some awesome stuff yourself. Uh, what have you been finding? Tell me anything cool you came across. Comment, let me know. Like, follow, subscribe. I always forget to tell people that, but uh, you know, you know, I've got to. It's, it's, a, it's a video on, online. I have to tell you to click something, so I did. But thanks for watching. I really hope you're enjoying these videos as much as I'm enjoying making them. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Enjoy the rest of your July.